In this video we're going to look at how you can add custom validation to a text field. So in a previous video we'd looked at email validation and email validation is really straightforward. You add a text field, um, you can give it a, a um, question subject or question title of email address and then you can set a restriction and say that this isn't has to be an email address. What if we want to be able to uh, capture data from a respondent but force them into using a specific format type. So for example here we've got an account number field. So we can put in a subtitle and we can say enter your account number must be three letters a dash then the four numbers from your account. But how about going ahead and actually forcing them to use that format. So. If we click on the ellipsis, we can go ahead and add restrictions. And now what we can do is instead of using that email, we can go ahead and we can put in a custom validation using a regular expression. Now, this is not something that I'm very good at, so I did get this from somebody else. Um, so hopefully this is something that you uh, can create these um, regular expressions. If not, then somebody in your IT team hopefully can help you or you can Google and look online and there's different websites where you can actually um, use them to create your regular expression. So this one is actually fairly straightforward. So what this is doing is it's basically saying, okay, well, first of all, we need to have something that has a capital letter anywhere uh, within the alphabet from A to Z or A to Z whatever you want to call it. Um, and then what we're doing is we're saying, and it has to be three characters from, from the alphabet. Then we're doing the dash or the hyphen. And then what we're doing is we are doing digits and we're saying that there has to be four digits. So we're setting that validation. Now what's going to show up, if I just go ahead and preview, then it's going to say enter value in the specified format. But what might be helpful is if we actually put that in there so that we can see an example. So if I go back and in that field, instead of uh, seeing enter value in the specified format, I'm going to say example and I'll put ABC dash one, two, three, four. So that is our example. So now if we go ahead and we preview it, we can see that's hopefully going to help them out. Now if I go ahead and I type in something, as soon as I start typing, whatever I've also put in that sort of tooltip area, that's going to show up in red as well. So if I put in one, two, three, four, then as soon as I've got it, then it has disappeared. If I could put in something else, whatever it might be, it doesn't have to be the example, obviously. If I go further, then it's wrong. Um, so we can see there the validation. Now, if I just go ahead and put in uh, the other fields, and instead of this if I miss off one of those numbers notice that that validation is there if I then try and submit it it will then highlight that one field that is uh, not correct yet and then it will also say at the bottom one question needs to be completed before submitting and then it will tell us which question it is so we know that we need to resolve that before we can go ahead and clear off that error and submit the form quick and simple. So you can see there anything that you need to have someone enter the data in a specified format, you can go ahead and use that custom restriction and set up your uh, regular expression to be able to do that. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.